Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another hair video, so let's jump right into it. So today I am going to be doing box braids. I want some box braids. I'm in like a protective style mode. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and put some box braids in today. So last year sometime, Malaysia Pargo had posted a picture of her with like these blonde box braids i'm gonna insert a picture but ever since i seen her with those braids i've been one of these braids i am a deeper toned girl so i've always been kind of hesitant when it comes to blondes and stuff but i'm slowly getting out of my comfort zone and i've been really wanting to try these braids um so i'm gonna show you guys the hair that i'm gonna be using so i've got a total of i think like seven packs of hair I'm a little too scared to do like the whole thing blonde, so we're going to do a mixture of colors. So I got a number two, just to kind of keep it neutral. So I did get a pack of number two, and this is the Rastafari. In general, I do prefer to use Rastafari when I do, do braiding styles. So this is the Rastafari triple braid. Looks like this, and it comes with like three bundles of hair, package in here. So I got one pack of the two, and I got another pack of the triple braid in the number four and then i got just a regular pack of the rastafari and this is in the color uh 27613 so it's like a mix and then this is a brand that i never heard of but they had ombre colors so i went ahead and picked those up so the first ombre color well the brand is um called new amour hair collection and it looks like this. So I got two packs of the new Amour. So the first pack I got, but it's two-toned. So it's um, 1B brown. So as you can see, the roots are 1B and then the ends are brown. And then the other one is 1B613. So my plan is to use the two in the back like the back to the middle and then the top use the four and mix in the different uh, ombres and um, this one so yeah that's what I think I'm gonna do I'm hoping it comes out right I hope I don't look too crazy I'm extremely nervous about this um, but yeah I'm sure it'll be fine so yeah that's the plan two in the back and then four in the middle and well four towards the front mixed in with the different variations of the blondes and the browns now when I do my hair, I like to section my hair off. Um, so let me start. Those, so these braids are probably going to be like small to medium size. I do plan on keeping these in for a while, so I didn't want to. I don't want to do big braids because I want them to last. So they're small. They're gonna be small to medium size. And when I do braid my hair, I do like to work in sections. To me, it just makes it go by faster than just kind of starting with their hair all over the place. Um, so I work in sections. So I have my hair split into seven sections. So I do have a part down the middle because I do like to have the option of doing styling my braids in the middle part. And then I do have a part here on the side because just in case I want to do a side part. And then the other sections are just sectioned off. I'm going to do a couple demonstration braids and I'm not going to film myself doing my whole head just because in general when I do braids these size, it takes me about like five to six hours to do my whole day. whole head i think i'm gonna have my friend come over and help me just because i don't want to spend my whole day braiding but yeah so what you'll need um a rat tail comb little clips like this and the uh, edge controller and the edge controller that i've been using the edge controller the edge control that i've been using um for my braiding styles recently is this kiss brand edge control it's the edge fixer maximum hold for all braids it has argon oil and hydrolyzed keratin i picked this up randomly at my beauty supply the large container costs seven dollars and then it's just like a clear i'm gonna start off by sectioning my first braid so you can either use a clip or a rat tail comb sometimes it's just easier for me to use the clip because It just is. And then you take a little of the edge control and just kind of 
dab it. I do have a little bit of product in my hair already because I just finished filming. Well, I washed my hair this morning and moisturized it. And then I also just ended up finished filming a different um, hair video. So I do have a little product on my edges already. So I really don't need that much. Uh, I think I'm going to start. I just want to show you guys the different colors. So I'm going to do this first braid with the 1B brown, ombre brown. And I will not be cutting this hair. I want these to be super long, so I will not be cutting these. And yeah. It's about this much per braid. Make sure you kind of stretch the ends so that they have a nice, natural, tapered off look. So there's several ways that you can latch the hair on. I'll show you the different techniques. So the first one, um, I do not know how to really explain braiding, but bear with me. So I grab the hair like this and I'm going to flip it back and then put it on my head. So do like that and then put it where I want it to go. So with my, t with my thumb and my index finger, I'm going to grip the portion of hair that I left out. And then I'm going to kind of position the braiding hair on top of it. Then I like to split one end of the braiding hair into two pieces. And then I attach my hair with that. And then I start to braid. So once I adhere it on. Hair is kind of tangling at the bottom. And if your hair is kind of thicker, so my ends aren't as thick as the middle of my hair, so I'll have to do this more towards the middle of my head. But um, to help braiding and making sure that your hair is kind of smooth in, you can just take a dab of the edge control and smooth it over your natural hair as you're braiding and it'll just kind of keep your um, natural hair smooth in with the braiding hair. I don't know if it's because I haven't braided in a while or if it's just this hair but I do find that this hair is tangling a lot at the bottom. And this is that new Amore brand that I never heard of. Alright so this is how the first braid looks. It's really long. It's actually a lot longer than I expected, but yeah. This is how the first braid looks. Um, I pretty much went all the way to the end. I didn't care about going all the way to the end because like I said, it's really long, so I may trim them a little bit e anyways. But yeah, I like the ombre effect of this braid. Um, so now I'm going to move on to the 1B613. Just gonna do a quick little demonstration of each color, just kind of to give you guys. So here's the other way that you can braid as well. Um, you can take the hair, split this into two, two, loop one piece of hair through the other, then it'll look something like. So it should look something like this. Then you pretty much attach it the same way. So grip your piece of hair and then split it into three pieces. Lay your hair flush to one of the thirds and Begin to braid. And so now I'm going to move on to my next piece and I'm going to show you guys a mixture of the four 
and the 27 blonde so this is the 27 613 and this is the four so I'm gonna take a little bit of each and mix them together and then do my braid and off top I think I know why I like the Rastafari better why I prefer to use Rastafari because um, it's a lot softer than that other brand again I never tried that brand before but it's definitely softer you have a little triple effect so it's the four the 27 and the blonde stretch the ends Okay, and then here is how the last braid looks. And this is kind of how they look all together. So yeah, now I'm just going to finish doing my hair. Um, the fun thing with this kind of style and when you mix colors, like I can make some of the I can make some of the four with like one of the ombre colors or I can make some of the 27 with one of the ombre colors. Like the good thing about this kind of hairstyle is that you can kind of just mix and blend. So that's probably kind of what I'll do. I won't just do like one of each. I'll kind of mix it in so it's a little more cohesive. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see how these turn out. Um, I was nervous, but when I see this color against my face, like it doesn't bother me too much. It's, it looks kind of cute. So, yeah, let me finish doing my hair and I'll jump back on camera when. All right, guys, so I'm here with with the finished look. So I apologize. I did not do a like full video on me finishing my hair, but this is how it looks once it's done. It took about six hours. I did have my friend come over and help me back of my head. I just wanted to kind of speed along the process um, because these are super long and I know originally I said I wanted like small to medium but they're definitely more on the smaller side but I love how they came out um, I love the color scheme I was nervous but I think it came out really really pretty um, the Two in the back and the four kind of toned it down a little bit, but I, you know, you can still see the highlights and stuff on top. I think next time, like, I want to do all four and so get rid of the two, so it'll give it an even more kind of brownish tint to it. But yeah, I love the way these came out. Right now, I have it in a side part, so I can do the side part and then. I can also do a middle part. Just kind of pull it back like that. Um, yeah. So I used most of the hair that I showed you guys. So from all of the hair, I basically just have um, about half of the ombre blonde pack left. And then like half of the 27 blonde um, pack. So... All the packets that I showed you, so I had seven packs originally. I used all of that, and I guess you could say I used about six packs because if I put these together, this will probably equal like one pack. So I used about six packs of hair. And that is pretty much it. I'm definitely gonna try to keep these in for a while, at least for like the next month. Um, definitely want to keep these in, give my hair a break. I'm debating on if I want to turn these into faux locks once they get old I think I kind of want to do that and have like some really long small faux locks if you guys think I should do that let me know if I do do it I'll definitely do a video about it but yeah thank you all for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video and I see you guys next time